Quilly. It's time for the Victorian news. Now, what advice does Queen Victoria give to parents? Hello. Here is the news from That's English. The headlines. Today, a woman went to work in the city of London. And how Queen Victoria brought up her children without a husband. But first, today's main story. Over now to Nick Diamond, our correspondent in the city of London. Uh, Nick, what exactly is happening there? Well, Trevor, it seems that a Mrs. Margaret Fuller has come to work here in the city. Of course, until now, women have always stayed at home and looked after the children. So this is a big shock. And what sort of job is Mrs. Fuller doing? Well, I talked to her boss today, and he said she will be a typing clerk. Nick, isn't typing man's work? Well, Trevor, ever since the typewriter was invented, it has been man's work. But it looks as though within a short time, there may be many more women typists in offices all over the country. Some women are even saying that they want to choose between staying at home and working. They are saying they want to support themselves and they shouldn't have to stay at home and look after the children. Well, I'm blessed. And finally, the most famous single parent of them all, Queen Victoria, told reporters how she managed to bring up nine children without Prince Albert. The secret of her success? She says parents should stay out of the nursery. Leave all that to the servants, says Her Majesty. <laughs> Good advice, ma'am. But that's all from the That's English News team. Good night. Well, what did you think of Queen Victoria's advice? She says parents should stay out of the nursery. Parents should stay out of the nursery. Los padres no deberían acercarse a la habitación de los niños. Leave all that to the servants, says Her Majesty. <laughs> Leave all that to the servants, says Her Majesty. Eso hay que dejarlo en manos del servicio. Very good advice, if you have servants. Yes, it would be easier to be a single parent if you had servants to help you, wouldn't it? Listen to these British people talking about single parents. I have uh, many friends who are not married, who are single mothers, and I think it's, uh, it's quite common these days. Over the last 20 years, I think people have stopped loving each other as much as they used to. It's a bit of a shame, because there are more and more single parent families around now. So yes, family life, I think, has changed quite a lot. My cousin's a single mum and she gets on really well with her daughter and her daughter really likes just having her mum all to herself. Her daughter likes having her mum all to herself. Solo para ella. There's another useful expression with self. It's a good thing to say to someone special. I want you all to myself. All those people had very positive views of single parents, didn't they? Yes, they did. But now, we're going to look at the negative side of being a single parent. Have a look at these words. Benefits. Ayudas. Child care. El cuidado de los niños. To be worse off. Ser más pobre. Marital breakdown. Ruptura matrimonial. Here then is a different view of the life of single parents. Don't worry if you don't understand every word. Remember, the gist, la idea principal, is the most important thing. Gillian Constable is typical of the women uncovered by this new survey. She's been a single parent since her relationship with Gracie's father broke down and most of her small income comes from the state. Like millions of other single parents, Gillian can only take low-paid part-time work. Once you start working, you're expected to pay um, full rent full poll tax and obviously there's childcare 
and having two children makes it very expensive for childcare, etc. And I've, I've found, I actually worked for a year and found that I was actually worse off. 18% of the women surveyed were divorced by the time they were 33. No less than 24% of the women were single parents at some time and 85% of the single parents were alone because of marital breakdown. Organisations concerned with the problems of women like Gillian are worried that the government are planning to cut universal benefits. It certainly would be a tragedy, I think, if the government thought of reducing benefits for these people at all, that many of them are utterly dependent on state benefits of one sort or another, and to remove that would actually be to remove their opportunity for being able to better themselves, being able to move out of the trap that they're in. The opportunity to move out of the trap they're in. La oportunidad de salir del atolladero en el que se encuentra. Yes, that's the problem. Single parents are in a trap. If they get a job, they lose their benefits. Pierden las ayudas estatales. And they can become even poorer than they were before. But I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. And next time, we'll be looking at education in Britain. Do join us then. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Have you got any photographs of yourself as a child, Vanessa?